Hey everybody, Grim Green back here today. You know, it's just one of those real busy days where I'm gonna be out and about and I, I was just running errands and I gotta go back out and run some more errands. But what I wanted to talk about today while I'm running errands, where the hell is it? What the crap is happening right now? That right there's the Falcon 2. I've been vaping it for about a week now. It's honestly been a little banger of a sub ohm tank. I can't say I notice a lot of huge differences between the Falcon 1 and the Falcon 2, but shit, let's talk about it. Fucking figures. Hey, guess who left the house with two dead batteries in his mod? This guy. Unbelievable. I can't believe I did that. I have all this time to sit in traffic. I've got like a 45 minute drive ahead of me and I have no vape. Rookie move, Nick. Rookie move. You know, sometimes you can do that thing where you let it like sit for a little bit, see if we can get some out of it. Shit, nope, I super killed these batteries dead. I don't even think I have a vape sitting in the car to like tide me over until I get home. Really old me pod. Uh, uh. What the hell is this? Oh, this isn't even nicotine. This is an energy thing. Well, damn it, it looks like the rest of this video is just gonna have to happen at home. Now I can get batteries. Success. Let's see, can I put you here? I don't know, sometimes I just like using this little vloggy camera. It's way more fun. Okay, so finally, the Horizon Tech Falcon 2 tank. It's the follow-up to their original Falcon tank, which I really, really liked. I feel like the original Falcon tank had a lot more options as far as coil heads go. As far as I've seen, this only has a single strip of mesh coil head. And with that said, you only get one coil head in the in the box, in the tank. Some usually you get two. I feel like we should at least get two coil heads, right? Such is not the case with the Falcon 2. But with that said, the single strip of mesh does vape really well. It's sort of this new mesh that they're calling sector Mesh! I don't know what sector means. Kind of just looks like mesh to me. I don't know. Every mesh is a little bit different. Inakin has mesh that looks more like a chain link fence, like little diamonds stacked together. This is very much up vertical and horizontal rows of mesh. I guess more like a traditional mesh, if that's even really a thing. It still uses the wood pulp and cotton as far as the wicking on the inside, which has always been real reliable. It ri wi ri it wicks real well. This has never, ever, ever felt like it's about to go dry or on the verge of being dry, unless, of course, your tank is empty. All right, if we're gonna do this, let's do it right. Now, what was I saying? My Falcon 2 tank only came with one coil head on the packaging. On websites, it says it comes with two. Mine only came with one. I don't know. A few specs before I forget, it's 25 millimeters around and it's a 5.8 mil juice capacity with the bubble glass, which is great. It's got a slick little slidey top, which is different from the Falcon 1. The Falcon 1 had that press and spin thing. I kind of like this better, except every time I use a big bottle, like a 100 mil bottle, I have to pull the drip tip off. Otherwise, I can't get the nozzle in there. Nozzle? The tip of the liquid bottle. This is loaded up with coil spill. Rich kids of Instagram, and, and it tastes real nice in this. I'm surprised for a single strip of mesh, flavor's real good. Also, the way that you put the coil head in this tank is a little bit different from the V1 as well. I'm gonna try to show you right now without spilling liquid everywhere. So, boop, 
pop out a coil head. It's kind of a pretty big honking coil head. I mean, it's not excessively big, at least no bigger than any other coil heads we've seen recently. But what Horizon Tech says you can do with liquid in here you can pull the coil head out and replace it if you need to. They've constructed a little cage on the inside that kind of separates your coil head from the tank and there's a little there's a little rim. I think my liquid level is fine. You can't obviously do this with a completely full tank. It has to be less than halfway emptied. Bottom comes off, coil head comes out. Oh shit oh wow look at that still liquid in there nice so swapping out the coil head just gonna prime this up a little bit kind of just throw some juice down the middle of it then i can slide this coil head back in and then no more and then and then you screw this all back together boosh wow that was pretty easy so theoretically i should just be able to vape this as it is these are 0 0.14 0 0.15 ohm coil heads and i haven't been running them any hotter than like 60 to 65 watts. That's just me personally. They probably can go higher. It's just, it's just where I kind of like it. It worked. All right, so let's wrap this up. Let's do brass tacks. So you're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna buy the Falcon 2. Meh, it's about 33 bucks. So no real vape budget hands needed. The thing just vapes great, you know? The Falcon 1 vaped great. The Falcon 2 vapes great. If you already have a sub-ohm tank that you really, really like, there might not be need to, uh, like, abandon ship for something newer just because it's newer. And if you're using a Falcon 1, I don't know. I don't really see the need to upgrade unless the Falcon 1 isn't supported anymore, which could be the case from Horizon Tech. It seems like they're always trying to get you to buy something new. It's real nice, it's real consistent. I don't even know what else to say about it. I've put probably 20 to 30 mils of liquid through that first coil head and it did not need to be changed. That was strictly for this video. That coil head felt like it could have gone another 30 mils. The coil head three packs run about 12 bucks for a three pack and if each coil head lasts you, I don't know, let's say two weeks, I feel like one pack could probably get you through a month, maybe a little bit more, which that's not bad. Obviously, depending on how you vape and how much you vape. These are very rough numbers here. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. It is what it is. Look, it's a sub-ohm tank. It vapes. It vapes a lot like the Horizon Tech Falcon 1. It honestly vapes a lot like a lot of sub-ohm tanks out on the market right now. Horizon Tech's always had really good coil heads and that's honestly kind of the shining star of this whole thing. That and maybe the new design where you can replace the coil head without having to empty the tank. I do kind of like that as well. No links are allowed in the description so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you so much for watching, you guys. And no matter what anybody tells you, yeah, absolutely. Let's keep on vaping.